Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing, God, what number is it now? Five? Fifth? Is this my fifth update? Oh, I can't count. Number four. We're doing update number four. <laughs> fifth video overall, but update number four for my Pen That Palette for 2018, which is the Marc Jacobs Lolita Palette. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos in this series, I'll go ahead and throw the playlist up in the cards above. But let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the progression of my palette over the past three updates. And this is where my palette is right now. So I have made quite a bit of progress this month and I hit the majority of my goals for April, which I am super, super excited about. So two of my big goals for April were to hit pan on both this light brown shade right here, which I did, and then to hit pan on the second from the last shade down here, which is kind of like the dark, not dark, but like the light metallic brown shade and I hit pan on both of them. The light brown I was using a lot for neutral transitions, for neutral looks. Even when I wasn't using the rest of this palette, I was reaching for this palette for that shade when I knew I was going for a more neutral look. And the shade down here I also love as a highlighter. What I'm learning is that I love having all-in-one face palettes. And I actually just picked up a face palette from Too Faced and I love having the rest of my face <laughs> powders like all in one spot. But when it comes to eyeshadows, I like having like the basics ready to go. Like the shade that you use to set your entire eye after you put on your primer, the shade you use for a universal transition if you're going for a quick look. And that's what this palette really is. It's really a go-to quick everyday get it out finish it, get out the door, go to work kind of look. I'm still having a good amount of trouble with the two shades here in the middle, the dark brown and then that glitter kind of shade in the middle. I'm going to work on it a lot more this month though. My goal, I do have a dip in the glitter shade so I don't know if this is too ambitious but I want to hit pan on the glitter shade by the end of May and I think I can do it. Also, I don't know if you could see it in the close-up but I hit the wall, I expanded the pan a lot on the cream shade and I hit the wall on this one side. So you can see like there's no more product right here. So I'm just using up like the rest of the ring right there. So I really think I can finish, oh, let's not blind you guys, I really think I can finish the cream shade by the end of the month if I use it every day to continue setting my shadow. I really want to expand the pan on the light brown shade. And I want to use up, not use up, but I want to get one of these like lighter shades to the point where the cream shade is. I want to use it as a highlighter enough to kind of get it to be a ring around the pan. Just really expand that pan a lot. I did take a decent break during this month from this palette and then I went back to it and I think that helps a lot. Like taking a break from the palette doesn't mean you're giving up on it because it's a long term project. Think of it long term. You take a break, you use some other palettes, use some other shadows and come back to it and you've got fresh eyes and you've got a renewed like purpose to it. So I don't want anyone to like feel bad about taking a break from their palette because it was only when I like took a break from this palette for almost like a week and a half that I made the most progress and hit the majority of my goals as opposed to every other month when I was doing my best to use it every single day. So that's my quick little palette update and where I'm looking to go towards May. I will definitely have another update up by the beginning of June. Oh, I can't, I can't believe summer's already here, guys. Like, it's here. I've got my air conditioning in. It's hot. <laughs> but I'm really excited. I think, like, it's not until now where I'm thinking, like, it's, it might be doable for me to actually use up, if not all, the majority of these shadows by the end of this year. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like Pan That Palette and you want to see the rest of my updates. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!